Hi, so good morning again. Welcome to this another series lecture about electrotechnology number one. So today we are going to discuss about the battery supplies. Yung mga battery supplies natin, which is very important, especially pag nasa barko na tayo. Later on, we will we are going to use the Kongsberg Engine Room Simulator to discuss how important yung battery natin in the electrical distribution sa barko. Okay, but uh, before that, we will discuss first some introduction about the battery supplies. Okay, so ito yung libro natin from the Practical Marine Electrical Knowledge by Dennis Hall. So this is one of the important reference na sa for marine engineers, for the future marine engineers such as you guys. Okay, so ang note natin dito, ang note ni Dennis Hall, sabi niya, a properly maintained storage battery will instantly supply electric power when required. So this feature makes a battery a key element in the provision of essential and emergency power supplies on board ships. So later on, we will see how important yung battery system natin. Okay, take note of, for example, yung barko natin nag-blackout uh, nag siya. Okay, pag-blackout niya karon, so pag-blackout niya, so ang important niya, same sa mga electrical systems, sa mga hospital, sa mga mall, di ba? meron tayong tinatawag na emergency generator. So yung emergency generator natin, ano, one of one ways, one of the ways to start the emergency generator is through the battery. Okay, so that is why important kayo na naka-charge yung battery natin. So battery, and then some of the supplies, some of the loads, na very essential loads, ang supply niya is DC. Okay, or yung ibang, ibang metals niyan is from the emergency battery natin, kinakonvert natin niyan into 220 volts. So using the concept of yung tinatawag natin UPS, an interruptible power supply, which is from the 24 volts, sinakonvert natin yan to 220 volts AC. Okay? So from DC, naging AC siya. This is very uh, reverse yung sa tinatawag natin power supply na common na ginagamit natin, yung step-down transformer. Yung, for example, yung sa mga charger natin. Sa mga charger natin, step-down yan. So from 220 volts na saksaka natin sa bahay, okay, through our cell phone, yung sa cell phone na natin, DC na yan. That is, the output natin dyan is 5 volts DC. Okay, so however, yung sa UPS system natin dun sa, mga, sa barko, baliktad. Instead na DC siya, yung DC na supply natin sa battery natin, kinakonvert natin, pabaliktad dun sa AC para makapaandar tayo ng mga ilaw natin, essential loads. Okay, so that is why yung battery supplies natin on board ships are very, very important. So here, nakikita natin dito the two main types of rechargeable battery cell. We have the lead acid at saka yung alkaline. Okay? So, sabi dito, uh, 24 volts. So, 24 volts yung supply natin. And then, okay, so 24 volts. And then normally, guys, yung sa battery natin, if you have experience, kita naman siguro mo battery. Yung mga battery nga, yung 12 volts, okay? Yung 12 volts natin dyan. And then, yung supply natin on board ship, kailangan natin ng 24 volts. So, paano tayo makakuha ng 24 volts from the 12 volts? Okay, so we have to take note yung sa basic concept of the series in parallel. Okay, pag series yan ni guys, series, yung voltage natin is additive. Okay, voltage natin is additive. Pag parallel naman, yung voltage natin is similar. Okay, same voltage. Okay, take note ha. Again, pag series, additive. Pag parallel, the same. Okay, so in order to come up with a 24 volts from the 12 volts battery, ang gagawin natin is series natin. So, i-series natin yung dalawang 12 volts battery. So, isang 12 volts, i-series mo sa isang 12 volts, so magiging 24 volts. Okay? 24 volts. However, ito yung tinatawag natin the battery capacity. So, yung battery capacity natin is in terms of AH. Kung, maka kung makita nyo yan sa battery nyo yung AH, ang ibig sabihin niyan, that is the ampere hour. Okay? Take note ha, ampere hour. This one here, the ampere hours. Okay? Yan yung charge rate. Yan yung rated. Rated na battery capacity. So, so paano, ay, how are we going to increase the, yung tinatawag nating battery capacity? Okay, for example, ito yung example niya. The battery capacity is usually rated in terms of its discharge 10 hours rate. So, a 350 ampere hour battery would be expected to, okay, let's discuss that. For example, di ba, nag-connect ka ngayon ng dalawang 12 volts. Okay, 12 volts plus 12 volts naging 24 volts. So, assuming ngayon, assuming na, okay, to simplify our discussion, assuming na yung dalawang battery natin, na uh, series natin, so 24 volts na siya, yung total na ampere hours nila is, let's say, 100, to simplify, 100 ampere hour. 
So, yung 100 ampere hour, given na yung load natin, let's say, ah, okay, ito na lang, ito na lang. So, para para mas madali. So, for example, yung yung rating ng dalawang 24 volts natin is 350 ampere hours. Okay? 350 ampere hours, ibig sabihin, yan yung capacity niya. Total capacity. Okay? And then, for example, yung current ngayon na kailangan na isupply ng battery natin is 35 amperes. Okay? So, to get the hours, kung ilang oras ba siya, ilang oras siya magamit mo yung battery, in a continuous supply, ang gagawin mo lang, yung capacity mo na 350 ampere hour, okay, i-divide mo lang kung ano yung required current na kailangan mo. Okay? So, magkangyari ngayon, 350 ampere hour divided by 35 ampere. So, take note yung ampere at saka ampere dito, magka-cancel out yan. So, math nyo, di ba? So, 35 divided by, uh, 350 divided by 35, maging 10. And then, yung ampere R, matanggal yung A, 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 A ang mahibilin yung H. So, R's na yan. So, ibig sabihin yan, yung battery mo will last for 10 hours. Okay? In a continuous supply. This is very similar, guys. Okay, ito yun. Paano ba natin ito ma-relate sa actual natin? For example, may, 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 uh, ano tawag yun? Yung power bank ka. Ito yung power bank, Okay? For example, yung power bank, pinaka-common na power bank ngayon is nasa 10,000 milliampere hours. So, bakit milliampere hours? Yung milliampere hours natin, take note, naka times 10 raised to the power of negative 3 yan. Okay? So, yung 10,000 milliampere hours, ang ibig sabihin lang yan, pag yung milliampere, i-convert natin yan into ampere. So, instead na 10,000, so, mas maganda kasi tingnan yung 10,000 para mas malaki yung value. So, ang ginagamit natin is milliampere. And then, yung loads naman ng power bank natin is mga in terms of milliampere. Okay? So, yan yung ginawa nila, milliampere. But if you are going to convert yung 10,000 milliampere hour mo into ampere hour, ha, take note ha, milliampere hour. So, makikita nyo mo sa, sa charger mo yung capacity niya M, small letter M, capital letter A and H, ang ibig sabihin niyan, that is milliampere hour. So, if you have to convert that one to ampere hour, so yung 10,000 milliampere hour mo magiging 10 ampere hour. Okay, klaro ha? Kasi yung milliampere, 1,000 man yun. So, divide mo lang yung 10,000 divided by 1,000. So, that is 10. Okay, so that is 10 ampere hour. So, kung given that particular example, yung power bank mo is 10 ampere hour. Okay, 10 ampere hour. And then, Yung 10 ampere hour mo, di ba, may, may saksakan yan na uh, 2 amperes, yung fast charge, at yung isa, 1 ampere for normal charge. Okay? So, ganito ngayon. So, for example, yung battery mo ngayon, mag-charge ka ngayon ng, assuming ha, full, full, full charge yung power bank mo. Okay? Full charge yung power bank mo, ilagay mo siya sa 2 ampere hour. So, paglagay mo ngayon sa 2 ampere, ah, sa 2 ampere na charging, and then, let's say, mag-charge ka ngayon ng, ah, ng cellphone mo. Okay? Mag-charge ka ngayon ng cellphone mo, so, or mag, ano, ano ba, i-play mo ba siya, continuous charging. So, kung sinaksak mo ngayon siya sa 2 amperes, and then yung capacity ng battery mo is 10 ampere hours, so ilang oras siya pwede mag-charge? Ilang, ilang oras siya pwede mag-charge? So, to solve that one, yung capacity mo ngayon is 10 amperes, a 10 ampere hours, divided by 2 amperes. Diba? 2 amperes, mani mo siya nilagay yung charger mo. So, divided by 2 amperes, I think, simple mathematics will tell us, 10 divided by 2, that is 5, and then yung AH niya, divided by A, tanggal yung AH na lang yung matira, so that is 5 hours. So, ibig sabihin, ibig sabihin, uh, yung, yung power bank mo na 10 milliampere hours or 10 ampere hours, kaya niya mag-charge ng fast charge for 5 hours. Okay? So, yun yung application niya. This is very true to the battery supplies. Okay, yan yung importante dyan. Ano pa ba yung mga... So, other things, important things dito sa battery supplies natin, we will discuss that one for our distribution system. Okay, so ito yung basic parts. Okay, I think that this is very common to us. Okay, so we have here the battery, this is the negative terminal, and we have here the positive terminal. Take note guys, in a DC circuit, meron talaga yung tinatawag nating polarity. Yung polarity natin sa DC, ibig sabihin, may plus at saka negative. Plus at saka minus. So, ibig sabihin, hindi mo siya pwedeng ibaliktad. Kasi pag ibaliktad mo yan, hindi naman sasabong, but yung computation of the battery, of, uh, of the total supply niyan, mag-iiba. Okay? So, that is why in this case, basta may, for example, yung mga charge, yung mga batteries natin, maglagay tayo sa remote control, di ba? So, meron yung indicator that this is the plus, this is the minus. So, 
Ibig sabihin niyan, may polarity yung DC natin. Same with the batteries na makikita natin on board ship, sa mga sasakyan, sa mga motor, ganito yung itsura niya. May positive terminal at saka negative terminal. The positive, color red. The negative is color black. And then we have here the case, importante, and then the metal plate, a negative plate. And then we have the positive electrode at saka yung uh, plastic separator niya. Okay? So normally guys, itong mga battery natin, yung battery natin, meron niyang acid. Okay, to to test the yung okay pa ba yung battery natin, we will be using yung tinatawag nating hydrometer. Okay, so we will discuss this one yun na sa safety isolation natin sa next lecture natin on the battery. Okay? So ito na yung tinatawag nating continuous UPS system. Okay? So ito ha, later on ipakita ko sa inyo yung sa uh, yun sa uh, engine room simulator natin yung sa Consberg. But to i-discuss muna natin yung tinatawag na itong at ano ba itong mga diagram natin diagram okay dito muna tayo sa tinatawag nating continuous UPS supply okay but by the way guys yung yung gamit natin on board ship is normally yung tinatawag continuous UPS DC supported uh, supply so ito yun continuous okay ito yung normal na ginagamit natin on board ship which is very similar to this diagram here so para hindi tayo medyo maguluhan eh, discuss muna natin ito sa taas okay so ito yung ito lang muna Okay, ito lang muna yung discuss natin para hindi tayo medyo maguluhan. So we have here the charger. You, I think you are very familiar with the charger. Okay, alam niyo naman yung charger, di ba? So yung charger is same lang ng charger ng power bank niyo, di ba? Ordinary charger to charge your power bank. Let's assume to simplify ito yung power bank niyo. Okay, charger at saka power bank. But on board ship, yung charger natin, yung sabi ko yung charger natin that is from AC, gagawin niya to DC. Okay? Yun yung application natin pagdating natin sa electro technology to the introduction or the discussion of the semiconductors. So, ito yung AC natin, papunta DC na ito, output ng charger natin DC. So, that is 220 volts here. Paggawa, paglabas niya dito, that is 24 volts. So, yung charger natin, supply siya ng battery. So, dalawa yung sinusupply ng charger mo. Yung 24 volts niya, supply siya sa battery to charge. Okay, normal recharge, nang charge siya, and then at the same time, okay, at the same time, meron din siyang supply papunta dun sa inverter. Yung inverter natin will convert DC to AC. Okay, DC, from DC, 24 volts here, papunta na siya sa AC na 220 volts. So, ano sa ba ng inverter, sir? Yung inverter na ginagamit natin is, have you ever wondered yung sa mga sasakyan, yung sa mga bus? Ito yung mga wonder ko when I was a, a young boy. So, di ba, for example, bakit may TV man sa bus na wala man siyang wires, wala mang saksakan na, na nakakonect, di ba, sa dasureko ba or something like that? Wala naman nakakonect. So, paano siya, nag, paano siya may saksakan? Meron pang phone charger. So, yung gamit natin doon, inverter. And I think inverter is not new to you. Okay. So, yung inverter natin will convert the supply from 24 volts DC, convert niya balik sa 220 volts AC. So, yan yung basic discussion yan sa inverter. So, ulitin natin, 24, uh, 220 volts, i-convert niya to 24 volts. Meron siyang supply to battery, and then meron din siyang supply sa inverter. After the inverter, yung 24 volts DC, i-convert niya into 220 volts AC. Sir, pinapagulong mo yata yung buhay namin. Okay? May AC ka na supply na 220 there. Bakit kailangan mo pang i-convert ng 24 volts and then balik mo ulit sa 220 volts? Is it very, is it not in inefficient? Okay. So, dito na papasok yung importante, yung importance ito ngayon. Bakit kailangan niya pang i-convert ng 24 volts? Okay. Bakit niya kailangan i-convert ng 24 volts? Kasi kailangan niyang i-charge yung battery. Kasi pag hindi mo i-convert ng 24 volts yung 220 mo dito, hindi mo ito pwede ma-charge kasi wala namang battery na AC. Okay? So, kailangan niya muna i-convert yung AC niya to DC, papasok dito, the 24 volts. Okay? So, yung 24 volts, papasok na siya dito after the 24 volts, sa kanya, sa kanya i-convert na naman yung 24 volts, papunta to 220. Okay. So, anong importance niya ngayon? Mangyayari yung importance dito, guys, if mawala yung AC na supply. What if mawala yung power supply mo dito na AC 220? So, just like this one here. Okay, loss of supply. So, nawala na yung charger mo. Nawala na yung 220 nag-supply. So, mayayari niyan ngayon, ito na yung 24 volts, yung ito ha, yung battery, ito yung normal charging, normal recharge, na bulilyaso. Okay, nag-blackout. So, ang nangyari niya ngayon, instead na itong charger natin, mag-supply siya papunta doon at saka papunta dito sa charger, ang mayayari ngayon, yung charger na natin, yung 24 volts, ito na yung mag-supply ngayon dun sa inverter mo, 220 volts, to run the essential loads. 
Okay? So, ito na yung magiging backup mo. So, yung battery mo ngayon, yung battery mo, convert mo ngayon to 220 volts, uh, from 24 volts to 220 volts. Okay? So, ito yung importante ng inverter natin. And then, from our inverter here, 220 volts, so papasok na yan, lalabas na yan, 220 volts dito. Okay? So, ito naman, yung, ito yung continuous UPS system. Yung iba naman, isa naman is yung standby UPS system. Yung standby UPS system natin, Okay, discuss natin to. Ito naman, merong switching dito. Okay, so may supply ka dito guys. Ito yung charger natin. Ito yung papasok yung 220 volts mo. Okay, may supply ka dito sa charger. Okay, charger and then dito supply sa inverter. Okay, so supply ka dito, supply lang siya dito. And then wala pang inverter. Walang output siya sa inverter. Diba? Take note guys, ito ha. May 220 ka. From 220... I-convert mo siya sa DC 24 volts and then from 20 volts, i-convert mo ulit siya sa 220 pabalik. Which is very redundant in our case. Okay, hindi naman natin kailangan idaan dun sa inverter. So, ito yung standby UPS. Yung standby UPS, okay, may supply ka lang sa charger and then papunta dun sa battery. Nag-charge siya. Pero, yung output nito, walang sinusupplyan yung inverter. Okay, hindi niya kailangan i-convert yung value niya to inverter and then papuntang load. Kasi, Instead dito, diba, tanawin nyo, tingnan nyo yung daanan na AC supply, 24 volts, pabalik sa AC. Ito naman, yung AC supply, dadaan lang siya dito, and then dyan lang siya hangganan. Dito lang siya sa inverter. Hindi na siya pupunta sa load. Yung magsusupply nito sa load is ito. AC supply, dito pa rin, papasok na siya dito sa dadaan. And then may switching ka dito. Yung single switch, uh, SPDT, single pole, double throw. Okay? Single pole, double throw. So, ito siya ngayon, SPDT switch. So, ito siya, Okay? And then dito siya magsusupply. And then, what will happen ngayon pag may problema yung AC supply natin? Yung AC supply natin, so ibig sabihin, pag may supply ka na dito, hindi na siya makadaan yung battery, yung, supply, yung uh, kuryente mo dito. So, ang mangyayari ngayon, ito, di ba, yung switching niya, yung switching niya na dito na instead siya dito, lilipat siya dito sa kabila. Lilipat siya dito sa kabila, pak, lilipat siya sa kabila. So, wala ka ng supply dito, papunta dito. So, yung charger nito, hindi na ito gagana kasi wala ka ng 220. So, yung supply mo ngayon, from the battery na ngayon, from the battery, papunta na siya dun sa inverter, siya na yung magsusupply dun sa loads. Okay? So, ano ba yung difference nito dito at saka dito sa kabila? Dito sa kabila, guys, is yung AC, kailangan mo pa convert ng 24 volts and then ibalik mo ulit sa AC to supply the AC load. Ito naman, yung AC supply mo, pwede mo nang isupply siya to other AC. Okay, hindi mo na siya i-convert ng 24 volts DC and then AC, and then 24 volts DC and then i-convert mo naman ulit ng AC. Hindi na. So from AC, AC na yung supply niya dito. And then pag may bulilyaso na, nagka-problema yung AC supply mo dito, from AC supply here, charger, dito papasok, and then, okay, pag magproblema yung loss of supply natin, hindi na yun makasupply yung AC mo dito, yung battery na yung mag-supply niya papunta dito. Okay? So, yan yung important natin for the UPS system. Saan ba natin makikita yung UPS system dito sa, sa, sa lupa? Makikita, first time ko to nakita yung UPS system sa internet cafe. Yung sa internet cafe, na for example, yung sa server, di ba, if you have experienced this one, napupunta kayo sa server, laro kayo sa internet cafe, and then nag-blackout. Pag-blackout na ngayon, di ba, ang mangyayari niya ngayon, pag nag-blackout, ah, wala na, wala nang bayad, wala nang bayad kasi nag na, na, na off na. Pero pag tingin mo doon sa, sa, sa counter, yung computer ng counter na doon ka magbabayad, naka-own pa yung computer niya. Okay? Kasi may gamit siya na UPS. Uninterruptible power supply. Pero yung UPS niya doon, hindi yun pang matagalan. Okay? Maririnig mo yung ting, ah, tut, niya, tapos, tut. And then later on, pag malapit na siyang ma-empty, ma ma so, ibig sabihin yun, patapos na yung buhay ng UPS system mo. Okay? So, later on, yung i-discuss naman natin, ipakita ko sa inyo yung emergency, ah, yung uh, engine room simulator, yung application nito dun sa barko. So, gagamitin natin yun, yung Kongsberg engine room simulator. So, if you have some questions or clarifications, please uh, comment and we will discuss this one in our classroom. Okay? So, see you.